Hi, here, we're here at inspiredstartups.com at the DCU Innovation Campus and we're talking to some of the teams participating in the event over this weekend in Hardware Hackathon. Uh, team number five with a project called Grow Dome. Uh, I'd like to just introduce Jamie, who will be talking us through a brief introduction to the, the idea of Grow Dome, how it came about and just about the team that has uh, come together over the weekend to work around the project. Thanks, Jamie. Um, well, we're... Uh ecological startup essentially we're looking at a means of intensively producing food on urban wasteland within the city city environment we're looking to approach issues such as social economical and environmental issues and over the course of the time we've realized that to achieve this sufficiently and sustainably we need to have some sort of control system that monitors and regulates how we go about producing food um, Within, within, within the control system, we're looking at um, a base, for the, for the point of this weekend, we're looking at a baseline of three sensors. We're looking at temperature, humidity, and water level. Each of those have a control aspect where they're controlling motors or pumps. And the whole platform we're developing our system around is a Raspberry Pi. Um, great, so you, a lot of the technology might have been provided for you this weekend. You mentioned the Raspberry Pi. Uh, did you have all the technology at your hands here to, for, to get the project started? Um, or did you find that you were missing yeah, def something? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We, we definitely had a, a, good, um, a good, good source to a lot, of, a lot of technological information that we might necessarily have should we have done this in a different time or a different, a different location. We found we found lot, lots of access to uh, to loads of other or loads of the uh, sensors. We've gotten lots of help from loads of the mentors and the groups around here. So it's been a really beneficial thing, I think. And you're tackling like a, a real problem that has got like many um, is issues to solve, socio-economic, environmental, and conservation. Um, and I'm sure all of you have a huge interest in that. That's why the group came together. Yeah, definitely. Like it's 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 one of the things is is quite frequently people people looking at a, looking at solution as being just a, a, a monetary terms, and they don't realise that monetary terms are not necessarily focusing on just cash coming in, but there's monetary benefits such as like a reduction in a reduction in employment. Mm -hmm. Your social issues with long term welfare recipients sure. is, is astronomical. Like mm -hmm. I mean, not to mental, men mention the psychological issues that do occur with such problem where people. Who, have essentially no purpose. You need to, you need to like to to or to basically show right start right from the start through to the end how this project's going to evolve mm -hmm. to like to the individuals we're working with. And once you see that, like they, like they latch on straight away. There's a definite interest within what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, and have you had any help from the mentors over? The weekend. Yeah, yeah. We just came. We just project. came back from the presentation, guys, right. and <laughs> we're getting lots of good tips there. Um, there's, there's things we need to work on. We need to sort of a adequately put across our point of view or what what the concept is, but we have to put it in in rele in relevance to what the what's going on here in the weekend. Like mm -hmm. because the project is this is just one element of a larger project, mm -hmm. and although it's a vital element. It's kind of finding the finding the means to explain what the project is, while not deviating from what we're doing here at the hackathon. Yeah, you, hackathon. you obviously won't get the product finished by the end of three days, or even. Well, we got we got. What, what state is the product in at the moment? Could you show us? Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about the database, maybe? What day? Just pass it. Yeah. This, if you like, sub-project within the overall uh, context of the dome um, has a number of features. Uh, there are a number of sensors involved which are connected directly to the uh, computer. Uh, th the uh, software that actually monitors those writes data directly to a database and then as a separate exercise we have a web interface and control system uh, that will enable uh, the administrator of the system uh, 
to administer and to keep uh, track on uh, what's happening in the Dome uh, remotely. Um, as uh, Jamie said earlier, there are two aspects to the management of this system. One would be, if you like, a, a senior technical person like Jamie uh, establishing and maintaining various parameters right. which he can do remotely and then uh, on site uh, there would be people who may not necessarily be uh, highly literate etc. So we've developed a very very uh, simple graphical uh, interface which just shows things being the right or the wrong side of a line uh, and uh, a highly unskilled person could cope with that uh, very very simply. Uh, on, on a 24-7 basis, then, the system itself regulates and monitors temperature, humidity, water levels, and will take appropriate action, such as turning on or off pumps, turning, opening or closing uh, ventilation systems, whatever. So the idea is that the, uh, the, the fine granular control of the key functions is happening 24-7 and controlled entirely by the system. Uh, with uh, I intervention then at a physical level by uh, for for people, for example, to 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 change plants, do stuff like that that are our, our physical operations. Great. Um, Essentially, we're trying to reduce the amount of ten inputs that are needed within within any growing environment. Like Reese, I'm sure you may know, may, may be aware of like uh, the robotic milking machines that have been developed over in okay. Galway. Mm -hmm. And they've been proven to be very successful, oh, yeah. and we're trying to head in the same in a similar direction, where basically you can reduce the technical input that needs to go in, and by reducing the technical input, you're increasing overheads. Great, uh, you've seemed to have made a lot of progress over the weekend, and the uh, pace, well, I can see, has been pretty steady and consistent. Um, with your idea, with the original idea of what what was pitched on Friday, anyways. Um, has there been many twists or turns to that idea over the weekend, or have you been consistent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, a few interesting moments. Yeah, a few interesting we moments, definitely. We have all of the functionality sure. that we set out to achieve, mm -hmm. we have achieved it. I think, I think we had our most productive hour at about between 11 and 12 o'clock last night. Okay. <laughs> where basically, up until that point, we had, problems with, we had problems with the front end, we had problems with the database, we had problems with the sensors, and then literally within the space of an hour everything to, everything seemed to iron out and it it seems to be getting in that general direction now so we're so we're the, happy. the best progress kind of came at the early hours of the yeah. morning you know, <laughs> coffee and <laughs> what other ex experience of the weekend could you share with us any other highlights um it's just i think it's it's amazing to see such an event that go on mm -hmm. it's it's obviously it's got a very american feel to the whole thing but it's definitely, I think it's a definite move in the right direction. Um, like with all the likes of these, these microcontrollers, mm -hmm. there's benefits beyond what anybody can imagine. And to have a situation or an environment where you have a meeting of multi-disciplines, both from arts, engineering, science, sure. it's really beneficial to project product development. And I think it's, it's the most efficient way to develop products as mm -hmm. well. Like, um, would you recommend a weekend to people thinking about participating in another hackathon to come up here in Dublin? Most definitely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, well, thanks for the interview. I look forward to hearing your pitch later on. Hopefully it'll go good. Okay, thank you.